Hey guys, um, welcome. I'm Adam Atrophy. I'm Mary Imagination. And welcome to the Fright Zone. Today, we're going to be talking about this new movie coming out on Friday. I think some of you guys heard of it. The Texas Chainsaw in 3Ds. Yes, it's a, yep, it's the um, new movie. It's a new uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre movie. It's going to be the seventh film, Texas Chainsaw. Um, in the franchise total, and uh, and and I, and of course, that some of you probably are you know asking like, oh, they're doing another remake, remake of a remake, but no, you're you're wrong. I know, I know, I understand that the title is a bit misleading when it comes to you know, being Texas Chainsaw simply because of you know that, um, you know, I mean, they could, I think they could have done like a better title, but at least, but you know. I know it's a bit confusing thinking that just that it's um, a remake. Here's the poster. It has a bunch of faces on it. Which of course, you know, leather. As you know, how leather faces. He wears many faces, many masks made out of human skin faces. Uh huh. And it's coming out in 3D. Now, lately, we've been having a craze of 3D, like Saw 3D, Piranha Triple D, and other different and Piranha 3D and just different 3D movies. What do you guys think of 3D? I personally saw um, saw 3D in theaters and I thought that 3D sucked. I wanted guts in my face. Blood and guts in my face. But no. The only part I really got that was in the beginning where the two guys were on the chains, the saw and pushing it at each other and when the girl finally got her stomach cut and the guts fell into the camera. That was cool. I wonder how they're going to achieve that kind of thing for the Texas Chainsaw. Is there going to be saws in our face? Well, we'll see. But, I mean, in my opinion, when it comes to 3D, um, as it, it can work as long as you use it to its advantage. Um, Piranha 3D, it, I think it really works because it, because it has, it has this really campy feel to it. You know, it's um, it's th that movie is a great ex and everything. It makes a great example that you know, th using it to its advantage and uh, um, and ma makes it 3D even you know the movie even more fun. But yeah, so I mean, so there are some that you know that you can use it to its advantage, makes it you know even more movie even more fun. While some they just make it seem like a joke mm -hmm. as well. And so it just either when you use the 3D gimmick, it's either a hit or miss when it comes to the you know film industry, film business. Um, but you know, in my opinion, like for this movie, Texas Chainsaw, I just don't see it like how um, how it, how it could be used as 3D because when I saw the trailer, it didn't seem like it could use be use 3D at all. If you were to, it almost seems like if you were to take out like 3D in the title, then it wouldn't be that much of a different, much of a difference because we didn't need it. But you know, I, I don't know. Maybe if, like it's maybe because something worth, uh, something worth watching. If you're not watching, you know, in th watching th wearing 3D glasses or whatever. Mm -hmm. But you know, yeah. Well, we'll see. Now let's talk about the story. Where where is this taking place? Like when is it? I don't understand because they have so many different Texas Chainsaws. Which one is this supposed to be in the timeline of Texas Chainsaw? It's okay, like I said before that, you know, a lot of people were confused were, were confused thinking that it's going to be another remake. Of, it's going to be a remake of a remake. But, you know, but but I'll just put this put it this way. I'll clear this out for you guys. This is a sequel. Um, I know that this, this it's really kind of weird when I th think about it. You know, it's it's that it's a sequel to the original original 1974 Toby Hooper film. So, is this supposed to be like in place of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2? Was Texas Chainsaw Massacre I saw recently just saw Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. It was way different from the original gritty original Texas Chainsaw. This, um, the part two was mostly like, like a carnival ride. It felt like House of a Thousand Corpses. It was more silly. It was more brutal, I would say. More violent. Yeah, over the top. Over the top. But, so, they're going to try to bring in a more gritty sequel to the original. Instead of having Bill Mosley playing with his brother's corpse. Um, <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, you know. Um, yeah, speaking of that, you know, Bill Mosley is, yeah, is going to return, but not as, you know, Chop Top, because I think it's going to, st st I think to me it's going to still take place, you know, uh, you know, like where Chop Top was still in Vietnam, you know, especially during the f events of the first movie. Um, uh, the reason, yeah, I liked, you know, the first film and also um, being, um, you know, very gritty and disturbing piece of cinema with a very realistic tone. Now, back to Bill Mosley. <laughs> um, he um he's gonna return as but not as Chop Top, but he's also he's gonna be the cook, who you know was played by um the uh, uh by by the by the late um, Jim Saito, who was um who yeah played or also known, no, played known as uh, Drayton Sawyer, and he's one of he's more of a subtle kind of um character, but he's you know but just as disturbing, and. And I really, I really like that character. I mean, it's really great that you know, of a guy, the guy who once said, "Oh, look what your brother did to the door." <laughs> you know, it's, um, I know that's cool. And you know, trying to carry on, you know, Jim Saito's legacy. Also, yeah, the storyline is, of course, you know, it's like um, a bunch of teenagers just get into a Scooby Dooby Doo fan and go out to this house in the middle of nowhere, and yeah. <laughs> but I, I think, well, like um, these um, Heather, his character named Heather, you know, who, you know, was like to visit her, her um, like grandmothers and uh, and uh, just some um, crazy stuff, you know, you know, the cray cray stuff, you know, crazy stuff, you know. Do you know how it happens? I know it's, you know, it's a cliche now, but you know, I would guess in the first film it really worked, but I don't know. So I guess, but in my opinion, yeah, this film is, you know, it's really fifty fifty on on me. I mean, because either you know, uh, it's like either a hit or miss. I don't know. Yeah. We're gonna watch the movie when it comes out this Friday, and we're gonna do a review for you guys. Well, we yeah we will be looking forward to the movie, and uh, hopefully we'll be giving you a, a proper review, and you know so when, when we come to return. Leave down in the comments below what you think, how you think the movie's gonna be. What do you think of it being a sequel to the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre? What do you think of the 3D? Do you think it's gonna be good 3D? Do you think it's gonna be bad 3D? Do you think that they should have just made it regular, no 3D whatsoever? And what do you think of the storyline? And um, <laughs> what's, uh, what would and if uh, what is and I would like to you know what what is your opinion when it comes to you know the use of 3D technology into movies? Um, just. Just comment on you know what's your opinion and uh, and you know and be sure to like and subscribe if you like it. Yeah, be sure yeah subscribe and like what you see and you know, mm -hmm. we'll see you then. Well, see ya guys. Shock on.